Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I think I may have found the perfect use for the Artillion front hoe stump bucket. You know, mowing the yard here at the farmhouse has been a bit of a challenge because we have a minefield of old tree stumps and some garden rocks that have settled into the ground. And quite frankly, the mower blades just can't take hitting that much more. So these tree stumps, looks like the trees have been cut probably at least five years ago. So my hope is that the root system has started to rot and I'll be able to pry them out with that stump bucket. Their diameter is a good size, maybe six inches to eight inches, which seems to be the most that that stump bucket and that tractor can handle. The stump bucket can probably handle much more than that. It's just the tractor doesn't have the capacity to dig in and lift much more than that. And again, if that's a fresh cut tree, forget it, I can't do it. So again, I'm hoping that the root system has started to rot away and I'll be able to pry them out of there. Once I get that done, I'll use either the box blade to grade off the ground or maybe even hook up the rototiller and smooth things out. But I'm getting ahead of myself because the first thing we have to do is see if we can get some of these stumps out of the ground. Well, let's start with these two here. This one you can see is probably about, I guess that's about eight inches in diameter and it's pretty rotten. Look at that coming apart. So that's a good sign, which means I should be able to dig that out. It's got some, it's not really moving much there, but uh, I think that'll work just fine. We'll get that one. And then the one next to it is really starting to rot as well. So let's start with these two. Hopefully they're pretty easy. There are some bigger ones that uh, I seriously underestimated the size of. There's one that's almost two feet in diameter but uh, it has some high roots that we're gonna try and get out. So I'll show you that next, but let's start with these guys and see if we can rip these out. Whenever I use the stump bucket, I use low gear, four wheel drive, and run it about 2000 RPM. This one by the water hydrant looks a little more solid, probably about six inches, six to eight inches in diameter. And uh, it's, you know, it was cut off again, it looks like a while ago. So the hope is it's starting to rot around the bottom and we'll be able to get it out of there. But uh, this one looks like it could be more of a challenge. Very nice. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. I wasn't too optimistic about it doing it, to be honest with you, because that is a pretty big stump and root system. 
let's move on. Talk about not being too optimistic. Now this one is really solid. It's about 12 inches across. It's got another uh, stump over here that's probably about five inches and it's probably got a pretty big root system. Again, it was cut off a while ago, I can see that, but it seems really solid. So I may have to work around the edge and see if I can break away some of those roots. We'll see. I'm not too hopeful on this one. I'll be really happy if I get it out. Wow, well, that was a smaller offshoot. Well, is it moving? I don't think so. But I did get some big pieces of root out of here, like that one and this one. So are we making progress? I don't know, because this may have a tap root that's as big as that tree going straight down. And unless you can break it off, there's not a whole lot you can do. So I'm not seeing it budge at all. We may just have to leave this one as a lawn ornament for a while, but we've got some other smaller ones there that I feel pretty good about. All right, now this one should be easy. It's just got like a two inch piece here that's already a little bit loose. There's some rocks here that are not too big, but uh, rather than use the shovel, I think we'll use the stump bucket for that. So we'll get this guy out and then pull a couple of those rocks out. That was pretty easy. More rocks than I realized. Wow.
there's an artifact. Maybe a piece of Roman pottery. Well, I think those small stumps and those rocks are the perfect use for their Italian stump bucket, especially with the Kubota B2601, which is a compact tractor. It's relatively lightweight and it has limited lift capacity. If you want to do any more significant work than that, you're just going to need a bigger machine. But the stump bucket is great for jobs that are just a little too big to do by hand with a shovel. The great thing about the stump bucket is that it has that small footprint so you can concentrate the power into that small area. It also leaves much less of a mess than you'd have using a full size bucket. So more power in a smaller footprint, less of a mess. It's a great attachment to add to your tractor. So right now I'm going to take the box blade and clean up the little bit of a mess that I did make and then move on to some other projects. By the way, if you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing because there's a lot more to do around here and I'd love to have you follow along. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.